You like the road, huh? You like the scenery? You like driving? You took road trips all your life? Truck driving is the job for you, huh? Well, as new truck driver, and as me being a new truck driver, I liked all those things. Make me some big money, six-figure salary. Well, my three tips for a new truck driver. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Drunk Ass Mike, a.k.a. The Sober Trucker. And if you're looking to start driving or you're a new CDL driver, uh, I got three tips that I think might help you out. Number one, make sure you trip plan good. Make sure you find the best route to get from point A to point B. Make sure your time is good. Make sure you bring enough food for you to last the trip. Um, make sure you have enough time to find yourself somewhere to park before your clock start running out. Uh, I trip planned one time and I was late to the delivery and me being late to that delivery had me late for every consecutive drop that I had on my route. So, you know, you just got to make sure that you trip plan good and make sure that you bring enough food to last you because you'll get bored sitting here and you'll start eating. And next thing you know, you out of food. The refrigerators ain't that big. So make sure that you got something that's going, you know, not take up a lot of space, but you have enough of it to where you can last on the road for a week at the least. Number two, cars versus trucks. Now they tell you that cars are always the ones causing problems, but what the way I see it, cars is gonna be cars. It be these other truckers out here that can mess up the flow of things. Like my vehicle is regulated, so I can only go 65 miles per hour, and that's in cruise control. I can only go 63 with my foot on the gas. So it be times where another trucker will fly by me, they're not regulated, and they doing 71. I got behind a dude one time, he was doing, actually I was driving, he passed me up and got in front, and my sensor was telling me that he was doing 78. They weave in and out. They don't do what they supposed to be doing. Be scaring me sometimes like dude gonna cause a big wreck. So, you know, much love to all my fellow truck drivers out there. But a lot of y'all need to slow down and take it easy because y'all will be the ones that's causing the accident more than the car will. Number three, money, money, money. You see all these now hiring and looking for truck drivers, CDL driver, come drive with us, you know, and they'll be talking about six figure income. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, as a rookie truck driver and starting off, you're not gonna get that. This job don't pay nothing. You gotta have some experience to get to that. Most of these places want at least six months to a year, some up to three years, five years. I heard Walmart does an extensive checkup on you before they hire you. So. Don't look at making no money the first year of doing this. You're going to be able to pay your bills, but you got to remember it's time versus money. Money versus time is the reward what you worth what you're going to be putting into it. Because you're going to find yourself out on the road for shit. I heard some people say three weeks at a time, a month. You know, if you ain't got a life and you can live like that, live in your truck, that's cool. But see, I got a family and a house at home, you know, that I want to get home to. So I'm not about to be spending no three and four weeks on the road. That's just not me. So, you know, you only get your 70 hour clock. So you got to make sure that you getting your loads in, paying by the mile, because a lot of these places, you know, if you starting off these big majors, they're not paying you no money by the mile. So don't even look at that. You'll put in two, 3000 miles and then you look at your check like, dang, do that add up? I mean, we get bonuses, we get a safety bonus, we get a production bonus, and we get a fuel bonus. But fuel is damn near impossible to get unless you're driving like 55 everywhere you go. You pushing 60 and 65 in some of these spots, you're not gonna get the fuel bonus because you're just not gonna be able to get those uh, miles per gallon. So you gotta kinda wanna be a truck driver and you're gonna have to get through that first six months to a year to initially get under your belt so you can go look for another spot if that's what you want to do you know and if you planning on getting a truck after a year i wouldn't even suggest that i say at least put three years four years on a job before you start thinking about getting your own truck because gas is high and to fill up one of these joints 
it's like $800 every time. So unless you got money for that and repairs, luckily my truck ain't really broke down on me, but I've had to put it in the shop like three times and I've only been driving for two months. So, you know, just figure out this is if this is what you want to do. And if it is what you want to do, just be ready to grind it. You know what I'm saying? You got to you got to put in the work. So that's my three things that I got to say as a beginning truck driver. And, you know, I hope to see you on the road one day. And if you choose to do something else, go for it. Because, you know, like I said, you're going to have to be out on this road. A lot of these jobs ain't going to be hiring you. And you can't get local unless you got experience. So, you know, be sure this is what you want to do. Give me a like. Give me a follow. Subscribe, please. Drunk Ass Mike, Sober Trucker, a.k.a. I'm out.